My name is Rita Scott. I am actually a retiree, but I'm also a dues paying member, and I'm on a fixed income. I think it's awful. What happens when employees are surplus is that it's on the back of the community. This is another example of corporate greed. AT&T has announced record, not on, record income. Their uh, CEOs had millions of dollars in earned income, stock options, and anything else that would make one wealthy. It is sad to know that our employees will go from jobs to jobless when they have record income. What will happen to the community is that now they will lose their health benefits, their pensions, and income. And those of us that are in the community will then have to pick up where they have no health insurance, they will rely on hospitalization or doctor's benefits from going to the emergency rooms. Those of us in the community understand that that expense will then be on our backs. Also, I am a customer of AT&T and recently went a whole month with having service half of the time. When I finally was fed up, when my TV froze up and I actually had no activity, I called in for service and at that call I reached someone in another country. Being an ex-employee, I became really upset but still attempted to be a professional customer to get help with my TV service. The first problem I had, no one understood me. I continuously had to spend my valuable time on the phone repeating my personal information. That job should have been here in America where we as employees will have decent wages and benefits. So I'm appalled that they're laying off good union members with good jobs in America when they are experiencing record income.